Theme parks are energetic destinations. The thrill of rides of course create excitement, but theme parks really come alive with design and storytelling. What breathes life into theme parks? What pumps blood through the veins of places like Disney and Universal? Kinetics. So, kinetics, what does that mean? Theme park kinetics are a design element of observable energy. Basically, it's movement you can see. It could be as simple as a flag flapping in the wind, or as complex as a mechanical display. Kinetics are a level of detail that make themed environments feel authentic. Kinetics are the heartbeat, the lungs, and the life of theme parks. This is the beauty of kinetics in theme parks. Kinetics in theme parks can come in many different styles and complexities. Let's start off simple. Take a look back at Rolly Crump's famous Tower of the Four Winds structure from the 1964 New York World's Fair. It's an imaginative design with basic moving parts, but adding a touch of dynamic flair. That simple motion makes a difference in the look and feel of the icon. Likewise, the facade of It's a Small World at Disneyland Park and various resorts have the same touch of motion. The kinetics aren't necessarily the focal point, but they're a little extra pizzazz that boost the overall design, like a splash of color or nice texture. In a more modern setting, simple kinetics can be just as stunning, like the sparkling light package on Tron Light Cycle Run, simulating the visual sensation of movement. These are examples of kinetics making pleasant designs more interesting. But let's look at how kinetics can elevate a themed setting. Themed environments are packed with countless subtle touches that add up to something unbelievable. Kinetics are an especially crafty method for supporting the theme. For example, the artificial waterfalls in Pandora the World of Avatar emphasize the planet's natural landscape. Super Nintendo World at Universal Parks is an elaborate land with many interactive levels to explore. What really makes Super Nintendo World feel like stepping into a video game are the kinetics. Characters and items shift, sway, and spin just like they do in the Super Mario video game franchise. This transforms the bright and colorful land into an animated environment only Nintendo could create. Clearly, kinetics complement a park's environment. But this concept really takes off when rides and attractions get involved. Rides like Yoshi's Adventure double as kinetic experiences. The continually moving ride vehicles give the theme setting a little more oomph. An attraction like Grand Fiesta Tour inside Epcot's Mexico Pavilion really sets the mood as boats pass by the nearby restaurant under the simulated night sky. By mixing these experiences, it all becomes one. The touch of movement with nice theming makes it feel less like a building at Disney, and more like the real thing. In special cases, rides act as an extension of the theme to authenticate the setting. Take the Main Street vehicles, for example. They embody the turn-of-the-century charm of Main Street USA and sell the idea it's a real working town from yesteryear. It's realistic, atmospheric, and kinetic. Other examples like the Mark Twain Riverboat are also practical. Kinetics make themed worlds of fantasy real. Many e-ticket attractions have attention-grabbing designs that use the actual ride path as a way to draw guests in. Thrill rides such as log flumes and roller coasters have expressive, kinetic features. The best of the best show off these kinetic elements for all to see. For example, the drop of Dudley Do-Right's Ripsaw Falls at Islands of Adventure stands out in the park. The surging plunge, the massive splashes, the animated set pieces. It all stirs excitement and livens up the area. Now, compare that to the attraction without water or movement. Kinetics matter. Disney's Animal Kingdom, with its active wildlife, discovery points, and greenery, is a dynamic park made even more vibrant with Expedition Everest. The ride is an adventurous sight as coaster trains barrel out of the mountain down its climatic drop. 
The mountain's beautiful waterfall feature and distant lift hill mount up to a lush view and lively atmosphere. Examples like this take the theme and setting up a notch, combining world-class rides with otherworldly environments. Such is the case for Mount Prometheus, the kinetic icon of Tokyo Disney Sea. Even though it's a fake volcano, it's convincingly active with steam and eruptions coming from the crater. The volcano also houses an attraction, Journey to the Center of the Earth. On this ride, sections of the track run outside for passers-by to see. The whole design is wonderfully intricate, much more than just a ride in a show building. The many moving parts of the volcano and ride spark the icon's kinetic features. The kinetics in some lands go beyond an attraction or icon. The kinetics are meshed throughout the entire guest experience. Germany's Fantasialand has many interactive kinetics, like the Deep in Africa Adventure Trail. This journey wanders around the track of the Black Mamba Inverted Coaster. Guests roam the trail and the coaster races all around for a fully kinetic area, blending adventure trails with an intense coaster. Also at Fantasialand is Rookburg, a kinetic labyrinth. This land is buzzing with kinetics as the fly roller coaster twists around the pathways. It's a tangled but cohesive design with the zooming coaster, the steaming pathways, and an overlooking hotel all contributing to the energy. These designs connect each part of the land, its pathways, theming, and attractions into one invigorating experience. Kinetics are the reason an area like Tomorrowland at Disney feels electric. The bustling environment is layered with the motion of various attractions. Tomorrowland was designed with multiple attractions woven throughout and interacting with each other. Eddie Soto, formerly of Walt Disney Imagineering, wrote a piece on Blue Loop about this topic, the kinetics of Tomorrowland, and the intricate overlap of the submarine voyage, monorail, autopia, and defunct people mover. It's a complicated design that took a lot of planning, but the commotion brings a lot of life to the land. If only there were more commotion these days. Anyway, there's no shortage of theme park kinetics. Kinetics are part of what keeps the excitement alive with worlds full of details to discover. That's the beauty of it, the living, breathing excitement kinetics create in these special, memorable, inspirational places. So I'm sure you have a few in mind. Let me know, what are your favorite theme park kinetics? Special thanks to all the Storybook Amusement patrons. Shout out to the producer credits Parallel Discover and Nick E. Join today at patreon.com slash storybookamusement for early access and other perks. Support the channel and grab some theme park inspired hats and tees at storybookamusement.com. This channel is not sponsored, so your support really helps produce videos like this one. If you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you'd like to see more. Thanks everyone for watching.